Hey guys, what's happening? Thanks for checking out the Rev and Evan channel. I'm up in Michigan and I'm at the Gilmore Car Museum. Muscle cars, antiques, tons of buildings. There's over 400 cars on display. One of my favorites so far is this, an awesome 1970 429 Torino Cobra. I'm gonna take you through this car and through a couple more that they got here in this special muscle car section. It's gonna be an amazing weekend at the car show, so come along for the ride. And right behind me is my favorite classic Mustang, a 67 Shelby GT500, 428 cubic inches. This one has the four speed behind that big lump under the hood. This is my man, Josh Russell, works here at the museum. Josh, what's interesting and why is this particular Shelby so special? As you know, it'd be cool enough to just have a 67 Shelby GT500 here at the museum, but uh, at the Gilmore, we're incredibly fortunate. This is uh, on loan from the owner. This is actually a prototype 67 Shelby GT500. Nice. So it, uh, it wound up going from Shelby American uh, back to Ford for like fiberglass uh, uh, a component fit up. Right. They used it as a, uh, a pre-production prototype. Right. Ultimately, Ford donated it to the Michigan Department of Corrections and it <laughs> went to the prison in Ionia, Michigan. Right. And they had uh, folks there in the prison uh, learn uh, body shop and, uh, and, and uh, tech skills classes, right? Working right. on this car, repainting it every year. It ultimately wound up in a junkyard oh my after God. that. And the private owner who owns it now and restored it, right. uh, found it in the junkyard, realized what he had, and here it is sitting in the museum today. Uh, Shelby, 67 Shelby uh, GT500 prototype. That's amazing. So what do you say we take a closer look? Let's take a peek under the hood. Yeah. GT500. 428 cubic inches, not one, but two four barrel carburetors. And uh, these things did well. Now, everybody knows the GT350 was a better road race car. This thing was really more for the drag strip. It's heavier on the nose, but that didn't matter when you had 428 cubic inches. When you crack those two four barrels open, it was, it was lights out for pretty much anything on the road at that point in time. Josh? What do you say we hop in and do some burnouts? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I, I don't know if the owner would be so thrilled about that, but uh, yeah, yeah. maybe we can beg forgiveness uh, as opposed to ask permission, but no, we probably shouldn't. Yeah. And it's funny because you know you see a lot of these Shelbys at, at shows and they've been really meticulously restored where the um, all the, the gaps on the doors and the hood are just absolutely perfect and the scoops are perfect. And they were not like that when they left the factory um, in 65, 6, 7. So you see on some Shelby's you have the light here, one on the other side. This one's got them in the middle, which I happen to like better. And you'll notice also this car doesn't have the Le Mans stripes either. That's right. This particular car, the, one of the interesting stories, uh, one of the, the experts that came in here, um, uh, restoration expert, builder, uh, a fellow that actually grew up uh, by Ionia and would go to the local car show every year in Ionia. Right. He remembered this car growing up as a kid wow. at the annual show because uh, from the prison, from the work that they'd done on it every right. year, it'd have a different paint job on it every ah. single year and be displayed as part of the community car show in Ionia. So he said back in the 70s when he was growing up, he would see it every single year and it had wild paint jobs on it, oh, wild really? colors, all kinds of crazy stuff. So, you know, it's lived a wild life from being a, a, a prototype piece all the way through to, you know, probably painted just about every shade of, uh, 
uh, shade that you can find in the uh, in the paint book and all kinds of wild custom stuff to it right. until being restored back to the uh, original condition. I wonder if there's any remnants of some old paint or anything of any of the different colors still left on the car somewhere. Yeah, no, I have to imagine there, there probably are. That's amazing. As you can see behind me, there are tons of neat cars here, including this. If you're a Mustang lover, it doesn't get any better than a 429 Boss Mustang. This is a 69, and they tell me it's one of the finest examples. All right, everybody. Well, thanks for checking out the Rev and Evan channel. This has been a great, great trip up here to Michigan. Love me some Shelby Mustangs. So stay tuned. We got plenty more coming up.